Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon goes to Los Angeles and discovers a pizzeria on its last leg. In movie terms, you've gone straight to DVD. Gordon has one week to take this restaurant from two thumbs down. Here we go, cue action drama. To a box office smash. But with a boss who's in La La Land. My pizzas will be in supermarkets. What? Sebastian's all over the world. Oh my God. And a spaced out menu. We have a concept. What we have is 20 different combinations. This may be his toughest challenge yet. That guy needs therapy. I'm a damn good cook. And when the owner flips out. We're done. Get the camera out of here. And breaks all the rules. He just changed like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Gordon gives him a cold review. But I've never, ever, ever, ever met someone I believe in as little as you. Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares. Burbank, California, home to major Hollywood studios whose employees enjoy dining and making deals at the local restaurants. But there's one restaurant that is not benefiting from this location, and it's in financial hell. It's a neighborhood pizzeria called Sebastian's, named after its owner, who is also a part-time actor, and who's about to receive much-needed help from Gordon Ramsay. How's everything going? I've owned the restaurant for a little over two years. I can cook anything. Hi, that's a sandwich. And my mother's been teaching me since I could walk, so I guess that's my formal training. My ability is endless. Put it in front of me, and I'll make the dish for you. I'll eat it myself. I think I'm very polite to my staff. This is unbelievable. Treat them great. Lou! Very understanding, I think. This is filthy. This is ridiculous. When he's get upset, you might see pans flying across the kitchen. Better duck. That's all I have to say. I ask him to do one damn thing. One thing. This is why we're losing money. Sebastian's you know, he's kind of abrasive at times. Sometimes the things he says are like, what? Everything's a big joke to everybody, right? Big joke. They're not paying the bills. People are scared of Sebastian. This is ridiculous. I just don't deal with crap. I don't. You make something wrong, I've told you how to make it six times. I have no problem with firing you. I have no problem at all. I fired 49 people in the last year. So I'm trying Sorry. as hard as I can. I'm still getting used to the, to the menu. It gets exhausting. <laughs> Explain the menu. I know. It's, it's overwhelming. I've created a unique menu that nobody else has. We have 23 gourmet um, flavor combinations. There's 21 gourmet flavor combinations. There's 20 gourmet flavor combinations. Wait. Pick a flavor combination, and then you add to beef, chicken, portobello mushroom, or steak. Shrimp. Wait, can I start over? So the meat is in the combination. If I saw it, I can do it. I mean, because. No, no, it's chicken. Let me start over. <laughs> Let me look at it real quick. <laughs> That's seriously the menu. The majority of the servers are actors. And we all know it's really expensive to live in LA, and so we need to make money. But Sebastian doesn't do a good job at running Sebastian's. Did something go in over there? I'd say 90% of the time, we are losing money. Call him Daddy. Hey, Mama. Hey. My wife originally invested probably about $300,000. What's up, buddy? What's up, Mama? I'm very fortunate she does make good money. Uh, this yeah, is a check. Yeah, I wish. We need checks. I basically control all of the cash. The investment gets to be resentful because it's so daunting. I did $490 today all day. It's hard sometimes to look at my wife and let her know that I, I don't have the money. If things don't change here at Sebastian's... Hey, guys. I don't see us open longer than six more months. I really don't. It's 8 o'clock, and uh, there's nobody here. So, so we're going to go. Let's go. We're good. Right out of here. It would be very sad for this place to close because I love this place. <laughs> Coming in day to day and trying to deal with that, it takes every bit of strength I have sometimes to really hold on. Live music, wood fire, breakfast, plasma TVs. 
Sebastian's finally found it. Um, it's here, right amongst all these studios. And on the front out there, very tacky. Oh, my God. Sebastian? Yes. Yeah, Gordon, how are you? Yes, Chef Gordon, how are you, sir? Very well, thank you, sir. Pleasure to meet you. My wife. Working here with Chef Gordon Ramsay, it's like, as an actor, having uh, Robert De Niro say, you know what, I'm going to help you with this role. Man. Let me take a seat. Please. And I'll go this one here, actually. OK. Thank you. Do you always serve? Do I always serve? No, but I do greet and meet every customer that walks in the door. Jesus. Every single customer, whether I come over and just say hello, or I spend 10 minutes, sit down, and have a glass of wine with you. You sit down with the customers and drink wine? Why not? Oh, fuck me. Christ. There's uh, photographs on the menu. There's pictures. Are these real, these photographs? Yes, they are, sir. I took those myself. It looks ghastly. I've always had one simple room. Yes, sir. Whenever you come across a menu with photographs, get the fuck out of there. Our menu concept is very unusual and unique. I love the variety. Would you like a walkthrough of our main concept of the, of the menu? Concept? We have a concept, please. Over here is our main concept of the restaurant. What we have is 20 different combinations of marinades, toppings, and seasonings. What you do is you choose one, and then you add it to either chicken, portobello mushroom, New York strip, or shrimp. Angus ribeye, prime cut, that's cut for Sebastian's. You can have one of these combinations with an entree, with chips and gravy on the side, if you'd like, with one of our side salads. I can see his face. He's sitting there explaining the menu, and Chef Gordon looks like his head's going to explode. <laughs> Available at any point in time, we have a half-pound Angus prime burger. I had actually 20 more. Are you serious? Yes, sir. God. I've never heard such a complex menu in my entire life. Probably not. OK. Um, OK, I'm going to start with some um, calamari. Calamari? Yes. Um, they're fresh? Yes, it is. Small portion of calamari. OK. Um, Chef Gordon questioned the, the quality of the calamari. Uh, my calamari is fresh. And then for um, a mild tray, I'd like to have a New York strip. OK. Can you make me a little uh, fresh pizza? What you type decide. of pizza would you, you like? You, you I'll decide. decide. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Lou, set me up a small dough, please. And what's your name? Sonia. Sonia, good Hi. to see you. Nice to meet uh, you. What do you do? Um, I'm an actress. You're an actress? Yes, I ah. am. Put her up! Do you play with Sebastian? Because he's an actor. Oh, no. Oh, OK. I haven't. And the calamari. Uh, are they fresh or are they frozen? They are frozen. Frozen. You told me they're fresh. And they're not fresh, they're frozen. That confirms two things. Shit chef and a dishonest one. Can I get you anything? No. A sick bag? He asked me for a sick bag, which I just didn't know what to say, so I was like, OK. <laughs> oh, God. He said that he wanted a puke bag. Excellent. Fantastic. I didn't know what to say, though. You don't have to say anything. OK. You say yes, sir, and walk away. OK. No problem. OK. Sebastian, just you could tell in his face that he wasn't very happy with the comment. I understand the guy's a professional. But to say something like that, a sick bag, come on. This is the house speciality? Um, yes. Yes, and what kind of pizza is it? What flavor? It's a Popeye pizza. Popeye? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hey. Hey. So I got the chef here, Chef Gordon Ramsay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's in the dining room eating. Oh, really? Yeah. He, uh, he thinks my food is terrible. He thinks your food is terrible? Yep. The waitress asked, can I get you anything else? He said, yeah, a sick bag. Oh, sir. Yeah. I don't agree with his opinion. Uh, throw him out. Ah, <laughs> throw him out. Yeah. Yeah. With two wood-burning ovens there, I thought at least they would be able to be in a position to do a, a stunning pizza, but the base is soggy. It's all watery. Surely to Christ they make a fresh pizza dough here. Sonia. I want you to plate it to him, and I want you to say, as Sebastian's mother would say, manja. Manja? Yeah. And as Sebastian's mother would say, manja. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
It's very difficult to mind you without yes, my knife and fork. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I should have brought you a clean one. You've got the part. Thanks. Relax. OK. It looks like a can of dog food. What an embarrassment to New York strip steak. Just chopped and cooked to hell. Everything's under seasoned. Enough canned pet food for today. Right now, yes. okay, in my mind, I'm hoping that you can act because you clearly can't cook. The food was shocking. The calamari weren't even fresh. Why do you need to lie to me on a professional front? Calamari? They're fresh? Yes, it is. They are frozen. Frozen. I'm not going to buy top calamari to mix in a seafood medley. We're not a four-star restaurant. Everything is cooked to order. Even our hamburgers that we just started making, we make fresh. Pizza dough? Pizza dough, no. That comes in flash frozen for us. I thought pizza was your speciality. I thought that's what this place was famed for. No, sir. Our, 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 menu, our menu, that concept that baffles you, that's what we're famous for. That's why they're queuing up at the door and you're packing them in right now. Um, I don't know why my business isn't there. So you're telling me now that those 20 combinations yes, is sir. something that's blown your customers away? Unbelievably. Yeah, Everyone blowing knows. them the other end of the fucking world. I was basically kicked in the face. To me, that shows ignorance and a lack of respect. I, I truly have no respect for the man and his awards. It, they mean nothing to me at this point. OK, my pizzas soon will be in supermarkets. What? I would love to franchise this and have a Sebastian's all over the world. Oh, my God. Just think how that sounds. Sebastian's all over the world. That makes me excited. You haven't got fucking one right so far. How the fuck can you think about two? I need some fresh air. The guy's gone. <laughs> this guy is seriously off his fucking trolley. I just won that one. I won that one. What on earth is going on in his fucked up delusional mind? Woo! I won that one. I won that what one. Happened? He was giving me shit, and he gave it back to me, and it was like, uh, whatever. I bathed Sebastian? Him. Yes. Hello, chef. Um, I just want a little word. Listen, big boy, right now you've won jack fucking shit. You've got the audacity to stand there talking to me about a franchise when we can't even get our pizza right. It took everything in me not to just freak out. I've been here two years. It may not what have you got like to show? What have I got to show? Yeah, I'll tell you what I have to show. Tell me. Pride. Pride. You're delusional. You that are... is your opinion, sir. A lot of people feel that way about you. What's successful about out there? I'm still that's here. That's what makes it successful. You just answered my question. I'll see you later. Yeah? Fuck oh, me. Woo! Fuck oh, you, I think I won that one. Yes. Coming up, Gordon finds that when it comes to cooking... It's frozen. Frozen, frozen. Sebastian thinks inside the box. You're happy to be a fake chef, aren't you? And later, when Sebastian loses it... It's my fucking life! We're done! Get the team out of here! Gordon tells it like it is. I've never, ever, ever, ever met someone I believe in as little as you. Coming up on Kitchen Nightmares... After a lunch that was not only disappointing, but confusing, Gordon returns to observe a dinner service. What's up, beautiful? Hi. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you. I'm going to come on and have a beer with you guys. Nice. Yes. We get a lot of directors, producers, you know, industry people coming in. Yeah. Yeah, man. Holy shit. I'm like, how do I know this guy? So the majority of the servers are actors, rappers, models. Well, I'm a model myself. I've gotten a couple gigs off working at Sebastian's. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Sebastian's is the young who's who of Hollywood. But for these young actors, their biggest performance happens nightly when they have to sell Sebastian's overcomplicated menu. OK, let me explain the menu to you. It's a little bit different. There's 20 gourmet flavor combinations. You decide if you want chicken, portobello, mushroom, New York strip. It can take up to, like, 20 minutes because there's so many different combinations and so many different options you have on our menu. Then you decide if you would like it in a roll as a sandwich, on a bed of lettuce as a salad, or just as an entree. I can't even. Too much stuff. While the waitresses struggle with the menu, Gordon hopes to observe Sebastian leading the kitchen. But that is not the case. Q, I'm selling a uh, table uh, 
100. I got the Siciliano. Give me the shrimp paste with the caprese salad. It's coming in 20 seconds. I love to cook. That's my passion. I love to cook, so it's crazy. But my strong point is when we busy. All of this. All of this, right? All of, all of this. It's frozen. And then you deep fry it. And that goes in a burger bun. Bloody hell. Is there anything that's ever cooked homemade? Not very well. Very rare, Luke. Very rare. And what you put in there? This is just the potatoes. We just pipe them through. And you make fresh cream potatoes. I believe it comes in flow, frozen, yes. Frozen. So what do you do to it? We just heat it up. You just heat it up. So it's not even powdered mash. It's already made in the factory and it comes in. Yeah. Processed mashed potato. Noticing the lack of fresh food, Gordon heads to the fridge to confirm his suspicions. And what he finds is a key reason as to why the restaurant is failing. Well, it's definitely processed. A fridge stocked with pre-packaged frozen food. Nothing's fresh, mate. This is all bought-in sauces. Yes, sir. This one's a buy-in? Yes. Yes. Buy-in? Yes. I don't think we should be serving as much of the stuff that we do out of cans. I think that most of the stuff we serve out of cans, we could probably make that in-house. Where is your, uh, your bought-in dough? And to Gordon's amazement, even the pizza dough is frozen at this pizzeria. And you get them in frozen? Yes, it yeah. comes in frozen. I think it's one of the best frozen doughs I've seen. And uh, it's the only way we can right now to save a dollar. I got to be in there. With the presence of a world-class chef in the house, Sebastian decides it's time to take over in an attempt to impress Chef Ramsay. Vasily, Lou, pizza. How's three work here? OK, thank you very much. I got it, Lou. I can do it. I can do it. But I just moved Lou to another station where I thought she'd be uh, more useful at that point, and I could kind of just regain things. I have no idea why I, he asked me to come over here. Next pizza you guys have, I want to make. I was really wanting to show Gordon that my ability is endless. There's nothing I can't cook. Put it in front of me, and I'll make it. That's gone, man. That's fucking, that's history. But they taste better than they look. And to make matters worse, this pizzeria's most important cooking device is not the pizza ovens, but a microwave. Water up! Holy fuck. Now Sebastian's carelessness is affecting the customers. Oh. I had a salad go out, and it had a hair in it. Is it yours? It's not my hair, because it's oh, not dad's. No, I don't want to see you eat it. <laughs> the waitress came over to me and told me that there was a hair in her salad. What happened? I just took a piece of hair out of my mouth. I was eating the salad. A piece of hair? It was going down my throat, and they... My friend saw me pull it out of my mouth. I'm going to make you a fresh new salad in just a few moments. I don't think I want another salad. The salad's gone, and so is your pizza. Pizza's on us tonight. Thank you. You're welcome. Food that was comped, there was uh, $300 worth of food comp tonight. It, we got that one coming out. We fucked up this one. This one's on the house. Ah! <laughs> Shit, make some friends. Make some friends. Come on, pay attention. With dinner service coming to an end, Gordon has many concerns. Are you OK? <laughs> hey, I need somebody over here to get some of these plates going. Not the least of them being that the owner seems to be unconcerned. You'll come back tomorrow. I'll be sitting on the same couch, curled up with a bottle of vodka, just going, <laughs> talking to myself. How are you, chef? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing OK. Chilling out with your buddies? Uh, yes, I am. He didn't think that that was uh, professional. Did you need me, chef? I need two minutes with you on your own. OK. I'm going to get inside and uh, work. You guys going to hang out for a little bit? Yeah. I was kind of upset at Chef Gordon at that point. Um, I, I felt like he was being a little unreasonable. Let's just have a little taste together. What does that taste for you? It's not great. It's a little dry. It's cut the fucking end off, squeeze it into the container, and send it. A lot of stuff isn't homemade. 95% of the stuff is bought in. Uh, OK, I, I, I was going to go with 80%. This shit is the most disgusting fucking bought in crap I've ever tasted in my entire life. It's almost more important for me to let this go out 
at half its quality and, and go out and make sure that the guests are happy and meet the guests and talk to them. You're happy to be a fake chef, aren't you? No, because I don't believe I'm a fake chef. It's a franchisable concept. Why are you so fucking obsessed with becoming famous with a franchise? Why, Why can't you just have a restaurant and cook your ass off and get customers in here for the love of what you're doing? I was hoping that this would be my launching pad for my name. How? That's not cooking. If you are convinced in your mind right. that what you're doing is going to work, you're beyond reach, you know that? Really? Fuck me. Up next, gone. The old menu is gone with the wind. Is a confusion. But a new menu. I don't see any uniqueness. Has Sebastian seeing red. And later. We're done. Get the camera out of here. He just changed like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Gordon gives Sebastian the painful truth. I've never, ever, ever, ever met someone I believe in as little as you. Coming up on Kitchen Nightmares. In a town known for its movies, tonight's dinner service is a major flop. The nominees for the most confused restaurant in Hollywood is Sebastian's, Sebastian's, and Sebastian's. And your most famous words tonight was not any form of delegation organizing insight. It's on me. Comp that one, I'll take care of that bill, serve that to there. You're running a business, not a freebie, drive by, pick up and go home. We shouldn't be saying that at 10 to 9 in the middle of a bloody busy night. What do we comp in terms of dollars? Probably close to 300. 300 bucks? Yeah. Shit. I don't know what to say. Working with Gordon is going to be a challenge. I felt like he was being a little unreasonable. Here's the thing. What needs to happen here? Big change. We will have a new menu. Are you all right? It's day two, and after yesterday's eye-opening observations, it's time for Gordon to get through to this stubborn chef. With pre-packaged and frozen food turning customers off, Gordon gets the staff headed in a new direction to take advantage of the pizza ovens, which up until now have been used just for show and not for cooking. Sebastian's yes. Yes, needs to become known for one thing and one thing only, fresh pizzas. What are those two things there? Pizza ovens. This place can become so popular for homemade, fresh, wood-burning pizza. I'm not making the money. And it's quite expensive to really start using fresh dough again. Guys, come here. Have you, or you, or you, ever tossed a pizza dough? No. No. Not here. All of you, yeah, are now going to become great tossers. I've got two phenomenal expert tossers here now. Gentlemen, come in, please. Come and say hello. Gordon brought in a couple of guys to show us how to be pizza tossers and everything. It is just like going to Ben and Hunters and watching them chop your food and cook it right at the table. I think this looks wonderful in front of customers. If I was sat here with my family watching you do this... It's a huge difference. It does, yeah. Now, yeah, I want you to become the perfect tosser. Lou, you have a go? Yes? Q? Let's go, guys. Uh, all of us, yeah? I'm up for a challenge and willing to try something new. Go, Lou. thing I hate about that whole thing is I have to get rid of my nails, but other than that, I love the fresh pizza dough. Okay, guys, let's go. At this point in the game, one of two things has to happen. I have to accept what he says and go with it or ask him to leave. Coming up, when the kitchen heats up, Sebastian starts to crack. Okay. Can Gordon rein him in? I'm stepping away from you because I don't want to be too close. You ungrateful. You have no idea. Nasty, You have no idea. fucking idea. Joker. Fuck you. That's it, is it? Coming up on Kitchen Nightmares. 
It's day three. While Gordon took the day to get the staff focused on fresh food and using the brick pizza ovens, his design team worked overnight to transform the restaurant. Good morning, guys. Ladies, how are we? Good morning. Good morning. I'm excited to see the changes, such as new decor. Guys, ready? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Don't drop the baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take. Go, 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 go. Right. <laughs> When I walked in this space, it was ridiculous. It feels new and fresh, yes? Oh. <laughs> it's just overwhelming the way the place looks. Oh, oh, my goodness. New chairs, wow. new couches, new linen. Little bar there to serve your cocktails from. This is great. This is so gorgeous. You start to see just a nice, vibrant, clean look. Wow, it looks new. Sebastian, the first time I've heard you lost the words. Yes, <laughs> you're speechless. Huh? It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Lou, happy? Very, yes. very, very, Good. This is huge. It's bigger than big. I just cannot describe how happy and overwhelmed I am now. One more thing. Okay. We got rid of the frozen pizza dough. Because from this day on, you're now going to be making your own dough. That is the best of the best. It is an extraordinary piece of equipment. Lou, come over, my darling. You wanted fresh dough in here, is that right? Rumor has it. Yeah. Now you can make fresh dough to your heart's content. You know that? I was overwhelmed. I was looking at that mixer. It was phenomenal. Now you've really got your work cut out, my darling. You know that. <laughs> OK, good. This is the start, yeah, of Sebastian's turning around. There's no excuse anywhere, from decor to wood-burning oven to vibrant attitude from the staff. The real work starts tonight. There's no excuse. Although Sebastian craves success, he has been resistant to change. And now he's about to face his biggest fear. First thing we'll do is play to our strengths, OK? kind of noticed that he was holding two menus, one being mine and one being the change that I think I was most afraid of. And uh, that really made me nervous. What I'm going to confirm now is that the confusion has gone. Gone, yeah, is a confusion. Gone is Sebastian's 20-ingredient mix-and-match flavor menu with pre-processed frozen food. It looks like a can of dog food. And in its place are made-to-order items using fresh and homemade ingredients. Just have a look. Let me read you through the menu first, OK? Pizzas, all cooked to order on our very own wood-burning oven. A margarita, a salami, a vegetarian, and then the entrees. Grilled New York steak and a wood-burning oven cooked chicken. There's nothing quite like this currently going on in this neighborhood. You have got an amazing chance to succeed here if you keep it simple. I like the new menu. It's simple. The fresh product and the fresh dough, that's a big thing for me. Take away the intimidation, Sebastian. Play to your strengths. Use what you've got. When Gordon showed us the new menu, I think it was a bit overwhelming for Sebastian's head. Are you upset there's no photos on there? There's uh, photographs on the menu. There's pictures of the food. I took those myself. No, no, the photos uh, isn't the thing that I'm concerned of. It's just, uh, it's, it's, it's the change I was scared of. Are you worried about the size of the menu? No, the size isn't the concern. It's, uh, I don't see any uniqueness. You're not going to now ask me to turn around and say what you gave me in terms of pizza was unique. I've created a unique menu that nobody else has. And Chef Gordon said, I quote him, I've never seen a menu like this before. So I'm assuming that it's quite unique to him also. Stop trying to be too clever. Don't try to be too smart. If you are, you know, anxious about 20 combinations. It's 20 times confusing. I thought that there'd be more compromise with my menu. I didn't expect it to be just completely gone. I love that menu. You've tried for two and a half years, and it hasn't worked. That's the end of that chapter. With the Academy Awards falling on the same night as the relaunch, Gordon decides that this coincidence should be taken advantage of and is rolling out the red carpet for an Oscar night party. And Sebastian's is fully booked. We're going to kick ass, and everything's going to be a whole lot better tonight. And I like to see this place rock. 
Tonight, expect a lot of chaos, but it should be fun. Here. I'm fighting right now, still inside, about that menu. It's driving me crazy right now in my head. Hey, we're serving, yeah. we're serving you know, 100 people in 20 minutes. With the kitchen hard at work with last minute preparations, Sebastian is still brooding over Gordon's overhaul of his menu. Everything's a big joke to everybody, right? <laughs> this place is a mess, nobody wants to clean. Okay, why? Uh, Sebastian, where is he? Send everybody home and do the shit myself. Where's Sebastian? Probably in his office. In his office. Lou! This place is a mess, and the waiters, they, they can't even clean. I gotta come in and, and vacuum the rugs? What is that about? One minute he can be the happy-go-lucky Sebastian, and then... Who put this chair on the floor? This is what I'm talking about. And then we wonder why we're losing business. Okay. Anybody gonna get the phone? It's Oscar night, and more importantly, relaunch night at Sebastian's. I'm very excited, and we're just gonna have so much fun with the new everything. Wherever you want, grab a seat. I'm really excited to prove to Chef Gordon that we can actually do something right. And although there's excitement in the air, Sebastian is feeling one thing more than anything else. Where's Sebastian? Pressure. This is ridiculous. Sebastian. Excuse me, sir. OK, two seconds. Um, control it, whether you're running the pizza side or whether you're on the grill. As those orders come in, push them out. Get on top of it and make sure that everyone is not shouting across each other. One person controlling it. Yes? OK. Any questions? No, sir. No? Good. Thank Good you. Let's go. Already, the restaurant is buzzing about the new menu. Roast half chicken. Okay. We have the pizza. You're gonna try the shrimp, Nikki? Yeah. You're gonna love it. So far, everybody really likes the new menu. It's really nice. And the first wave of orders is now hitting the kitchen. I got two margaritas in. Okay, good. Tonight, the pizzas are selling great. These shrimp Nikki's are going like crazy. Like crazy. Oh, what, the margarita and the salmon the small? Sell it, sell it. An hour into service, and the new simplified menu is enabling the kitchen to run smoothly and the orders are getting out in good time. This has got ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese, and spinach. Oh, nice. So good, you guys. And keep in mind, all the dough is all homemade. Enjoy, I hope you like it. And Gordon's new made-to-order entrees are impressing the customers. Wow. The shrimp tastes good. The night is going very well. A lot of people are enjoying the new food because they think it's really fresh. Much better, much, much better. But instead of being happy, Sebastian is still disturbed over the menu change. That's good. Hey, look at that, yeah? And think frozen mashed potatoes. Bollocks. No comparison. I want to try to go back to all of those 20 flavor combinations. There's a lot of uniqueness with the menu I was using. Whether he thought it was good food or bad food, it was unique. Sebastian still doesn't fully support Gordon's mandate for freshness. This is gone. This is gone. You got to pull them tickets. And before the night is over, the microwave is back in action. Make me a primavera. Off the new menu or off the old menu? No, the old menu. All right? A primavera, an antipasti, and another Pittsburgh. OK, I need to know what Sebastian did here, because this is a mess. Unfortunately, Sebastian's reversion to his old menu has caused confusion in the kitchen. I need this 35. Was that 35 what you just sent out right there? Yeah. No, this is table three, and this... No, I think the... That's the same. Erica! Get her, get her, get her. I need that sandwich. Can I have a chicken farm sandwich? I just got chicken. it. She had it, but she got it. OK. I can only tell you from a server standpoint, it was almost like a domino effect. Once one thing started happening, then another, then another. Hey, Sebastian, I can tell you right now we're going to need some help over here. So I can take table nine. No, because I have nine. OK, this is what happened. It goes nine, though. No, yes, it's nine, ten. Nine, ten, eleven, eleven. OK, so that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 
scampi is gone for table nine. I handed it right there. We started using old menu, and there was so much confusion in the kitchen. So we serve the old menu now. Yeah. I love the new menu, but I, the original concept of Sebastian's with the 20 flavor combinations, I'll never lose that. No fucking way we serving the old menu for me. Looks like something for fucking dog's dinner. No fucking way. No, no, no. No, I just wanted to know what happened if I wasn't here. Are you serious? You think no, I... no, 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 I'm asking, yeah, I'm just asking. Don't start this, go fucking cold. Here we go, cue action drama, fuck me. Welcome, guys. I hope you enjoy your pizza. Oh, yeah. It appears as though Sebastian's ego is getting in the way of his potential success, and Gordon's had enough. Sebastian, I knew I'll end a word with you first. Right, my man. He can talk to me any way he wants, but when it comes down to it, I don't know what I'm doing. OK, when I first arrived here, we got off to a shaky start. Sure. Yeah. Think about oh, yeah. it. Mm. Oh, yeah. And then we kept our heads down, and we got through it together. Yes, we did. And we made some really exciting changes. The menu's changed. The staff have changed. Yes. Mate, there's one thing that hasn't changed in this establishment, and that's you, Sebastian. I'm 40 years of age, and I've gone to a lot of restaurants, but I've never, ever, ever, ever met someone I believe in as little as you. I think that you will go back to your sloppy, shortcut, five out of ten frozen ways. Good luck. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. Fucking useless. Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking kidding me right now? I haven't seen Sebastian this emotional. Sebastian just got real loud. He just changed like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You fucking enemy! That's pissed on his bonfire. Fucking arrogant fuck that motherfucker. We're done. Get the fucking camera out of here. Jeff Gordon! Chef Gordon, where the fuck are you? Where are you? Oh, here. Yeah. You come into my restaurant? Yes. I'm just so Why fucking you disappointed. Shout. You gotta calm okay? down. Stop pointing you your out finger out at me. You gotta calm are we down. gonna speak like men? You gonna now. speak to me like a man? You didn't listen to what I've told you. You're not listening to what I'm saying. Did you just hear what I've just told I'm you? I'm stepping away from you because I don't want to be too close. You are grateful. You have no idea. Nasty, you have no I fucking idea. Joker. Fuck, fuck you. That's it, is it? Yeah, it is it. You're very That's disappointed. That's second fucking shit performance tonight. Are you fucking kidding me? Your whole act is a fucking joke. Anything else? Your whole act is a fucking joke. You're Anything a phony. Else? You shouldn't run like that. Run like what? Am I, am I supposed to be scared now, Sebastian? Come on, give me a break. Right, I busted Sebastian. my ass in there. You tell me you I, what? I, are you kidding me? Let me Are you kidding something. me? Let me just tell you something. You ain't telling me nothing. I'm See, done. You I'm you done. Get, you get your bit in. Yes. Loser. I'm telling you one last time. You're a fucking dickhead. Loser. I'm telling you one last time. You're a fucking dickhead. While Sebastian lets off steam outside, inside the kitchen has come to a halt. Gordon has put an enormous amount of effort into Sebastian's. He has also been impressed by the staff's willingness to change. They look lovely, don't they? Huh? Are they going out now? Wow. It's hard to hear that what you've done is a failure. Come on, guys. Salmon and chicken away, yeah? Roast vegetables, let's go. It's, uh, it's true, some of the stuff he says. Maybe I was a little twisted with my ideas and my goals. If you look at the numbers, then I guess it looks like I'm feeling. OK, ready? ready? Happy? Little slice of lemon. Knife, please. It's a slap of reality, and I know he's right. It's not easy to accept. But I guess before you grow, you got to accept it. Keep them in there. Get them nice and, yeah? It's my family, my, my kids. Makes you want to work harder. 
Let's go. What's next? Can you talk to me, big boy? Shrimp, yeah? Good. I don't have the degree. I didn't go to school. I know I've got talent. I'm a damn good cook. I'm not giving up. I'll get there. I'll get there. Speechless. I didn't, couldn't even tell you how like, worried I was because um, he's supposed to be this big bad guy, right? I could feel him watching me. I felt like he was said, "What are you gonna do about your kitchen? It's falling apart." I'm like, "You're right. I got, I got, I gotta fix this." How are we looking? Are we, are we back on top now? Oh, yes. We are, yeah. Stay on top, yeah. yeah, yeah. Point, yeah. Not confused, huh? No, sir. Good. Put him up. Sebastian just came in and he was ready to go. Give me uh, a large crostini. I got you. Absolutely perfect. Perfect, perfect. Once things started going smoothly, Sebastian seemed to be a lot more optimistic. Get a little excited in here, Sebastian. I appreciate the enthusiasm. The fact I've got a one in a million opportunity here, I'd be a fool not to accept it. People eight, send it out. Let's go. Salmon's gone, yes. Toby 11, let's go. Put her up, put her up. I need this out on the fly. Double nine. With Sebastian back in the saddle, the staff rallies together and turns the kitchen around. Service has stepped up, food is going out on time, and most importantly, the customers are happy. Bloody well done. You took on the changes well, you all adapted, Change is a challenge. It's hard, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. It's everything that we've worked for. Lou, your enthusiasm is infectious. You know that. Coming from Chef Gordon made me feel really good to know that, that he saw that in me. So that was cool. Andre, happy? Very. Yes? Yes. Yeah, we started off slow, but hey, we didn't crumble, did we? Uh, we got more adjusted to the menu, and things started working a lot more smoothly for us. Tomorrow? It starts again. Yes? Well done. Yes. Up, up, up. Very good. I respected the chef when he came in. My opinion changed of him when I met him. And he's reiterated to me, I don't have to agree with his methods. The result is what it is. As I leave Sebastian's, I have a lot of mixed feelings. I really know this restaurant can be a big success, but I also feel Sebastian has very little interest in sticking to the new plan. Next time on Kitchen Nightmares, oh. Gordon helps out an Irish pub. This is lethal. But steps in the middle of a family feud. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Would, would you, would you care? care? If Brian wasn't my son, I'd have fired him. One son hides behind the bar. Everybody's happy at the bar. Everything's good. The other is drunk with power. He got an issue. He is an arrogant little bastard. Will Gordon be able to find this family's pot of gold? Every day, you have to give it your best shot. Or has the luck of the Irish run out? Next time on Kitchen Nightmares.